Welcome to this uh, third episode of where do you get your advice or information from and who are you listening to? My name is Bob Butler and this is Peter Pereira next to me. We are uh, just a couple of yahoos trying to share God's love yeah. and talk it, about it in ways that uh, people fully understand. So this is a podcast of Ford Chicago. You can fi- follow this on YouTube. You also have a um, a Facebook page for Ford Chicago, and uh, you can always check out Peter's information and more about Peter and support his ministry um, at globalhopepartners.com. Dot org. Dot org. Um, so last week, uh, we, or the last episode, we were actually chatting a little bit about this idea of do-it-yourself information, really, is what we're talking about. You know, we all want to make up our own ideas of how things are moving in the world, and we assess all of these um resources that kind of come up with us and then we utilize that to take our actions to move forward and many times because of the wolf we're feeding on whichever side evil or or current events or whatever and the other side which is more the spiritual side because of how those things are balanced in this is it depends on that kind of makes um it it predates or or pre uh, sets our actions because of what's already in our filters, right? What's already come through to our brains, and that's how we look at the world, our perspective. And so I know today uh, there is an original moment in which uh, humanity, through Adam, was, uh, well, uh, utilizing its own thought of how the world works. So why don't you pick it up from there? You know, uh, this is not the first time we're asking this question of who are you listening to. It's not our original question. Right. And I'm, you'll be surprised. The original question is from the Bible, chapter 3 of Genesis. If you read Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve mess up their lives, they they run from God because now they've done what God told them don't do. They were listening to God. They were fine. They listened to God, their life was good. Mm-hmm. Listen to God, they were walking in the garden with God daily. And now when they listen to someone else and that messed up their lives, they're hiding. And I love the way that God comes on this scene and he asks Adam the question, who told you this? Or who are you listening to? Mm. Now then the immediate question follows that, you know, did you eat? Did you eat from the tree? that I forbid, that I told you don't eat that. So, Bob, here's a story that this is not an original question. I think there's nothing original from us. Everything is in God's right. word. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all plagiarists at heart, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you find everything that you need for life right there. He's asking a question, who did you listen to? What are you listening to? And whatever you listen to, you obviously change your mind because what I told you and you didn't do, you change your mind. Have, do you come across people that change their oh, mind and then God. again they change their mind and yeah. say, Pastor, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Would you come and help me? Did you come across like that? Oh, my God. It's, it's always amazing to me, right? And, and you've had this experience. And I, I, if anyone listening has had this experience, you know what I'm talking about. You'll know somebody who, who says they're a believer. They, they've known God. They, you've seen them praising the Lord at every turn. And then... They make some weird decision. That, that's the only way I can say it. A yeah. completely out of character decision because, well, quite frankly, it was to their benefit. Somehow they rationalized and justified it and they made that decision. Whatever information they processed, all of a sudden they, they made that decision and they go off and they do something, well, let's just be honest, stupid. <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, sinful, if you want to go there, uh, bad judgment. Mm-hmm. And you wonder, and they kind of act like no one knows. Yeah. But yet, people know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, out of that, then you wonder, hmm, how does that take place? And where did that actually begin? And I think that's where you're talking this Genesis exactly. 3 moment. You know, the, obviously, he listened to another source, and he messed up his life. Right. Simple as that, right? There's nothing major for us to discuss. There is no deep theology for us to discuss. There is, but I don't. Want, I'm, we're not going there We're just talking to common people, common life, everyday life. Who do you listen to? That's what we're asking you. Who do you listen to? Do you listen to God's word? And again, we're not asking you to be the experts in Bible. Read like a child. And, and, you know, God told Adam, this is the commandment. Don't do this. It will mess up you. Like you said, you know, 
You tell people, they listen, they do it, they're like, and here's the beauty, Bob. I guess I'm always amazed, you know, people blame so much in, in the Old Testament about God. But every time people mess up, every time they did wrong, become shameful, guilt, and kind of walk away from him, on his face they walk away from him. And he s- turns around and he says, if you turn to me, I will take you back. Yeah. Just, Bob, that's amazing. Why don't we realize <laughs> that kind of love, right? If God will so love that he'll forgive you all your stuff, why would you ever purposefully injure him, right? And just continue to go, well, I'm not listening to you. Almost like a two-year-old, right? At some point where <clears throat> I'm going to do what I want to do no matter what. Well, you know this and your granddaughter. I mean, I've seen it. I always, always, always amazed, right? I, I remember back when I was a young man and I was asked to babysit some young boys down the street, right? And I'm there with this boy and he couldn't have been three. And all of a sudden I asked him who did it and he lied. Like, he looked right at me <laughs> and lied. And I'm thinking, how does a two-and-a-half-year-old, three-year-old boy know to lie? And you're like, hmm. <laughs> it really isn't bread in <laughs> us. <laughs> you know? He got his information from somewhere yeah, yeah, Exactly. <laughs> somewhere, did. maybe his older brother taught him, you don't get in trouble if you lie, yeah, right? Lie. right? And so, in that same sense, back to the garden, right? In that yeah. garden where Adam's there. And uh, God is asking that question, right? Yeah. You know? And he doesn't push them into judgment scene, but with loving care, he provides the covering for them. Friends, if you, Bob, you said something very important. If you can, I, I asked this question, you know, God always comes back to you, waits for you to turn around, and with an open arm, he says, come. You mess up your life, come. You're hurting in life, come. You, you, you're guilty, come. And only God can heal you. Your friends will not heal you. Now you turn around to your friends and say, they'll call you names, they'll tell you all those things. But God is the only one. He's a person. He has a personality. We don't see him through physical eyes, but he, with his open arms, he says, come to me. Come to me. Right? If you're heavy laden, come to me because he loves us. I think key word there is love. He came to Adam because he could have created another Adam and Eve if he wanted right, to. Right, right. Yeah. Let me start <laughs> over. And start over Something's again. Something's wrong with this group. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with And he Whoa. could always start. <laughs> right. But he doesn't. Right. And he, he heals them. He heals them. He says, okay, go on your journey. Yeah. That's the God. That's the love. And I think the key thing, this whole idea for where you get your news and information you never hear from new, new newscasters, whoever it may be. They never look in your eyes and say, I love you and I care for you. Right. In fact, if they find out you're a bad person, you're on the news. <laughs> 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 Even if you don't do wrong, you're on the news. You know, you hear so many things. These people are nowadays, uh, I just glanced over the news. The guy didn't do anything wrong. The guy, the name was a wrong name and they smeared him. They got charges on him from every left and right. And the guy said, I wasn't even involved. My name was a problem to them. Bob, they're willing to throw darts and kill you even just for the name. But God says, I give you life. Well, and, and it's so interesting, mm. right? We all believe, I, I, and I, I, I do honestly hear this a lot. I just wish, whatever the news source, whatever you read, wherever you're at, I just wish they would be honest, right? And you think, if they were honest, they'd have to tell us the good stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> right? there is some good going on in the world. A lot of good is going on. You know, when you, but they always want to deliver, you know, the crying widow. Yeah. And, and granted, there are many things that are wrong in this world. Yes, I, I absolutely, but I believe, absolutely. like kind of you were saying, it's a perspective issue, yes. right? It's where do you get your news from and how does that help? And I think if we were to start directing, um, people back to this uh, loving God in a way that says, you know what, you don't have to live this way. You don't, you don't have to feed on this negativity. There is a way in which God kind of explains it in a loving way that changes your internal connection, right? And so there is a better perspective and uh, a greater perspective that somehow we get lost in. Yes. Right? I, 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 I it's, it's, I really wonder, you know, the biggest change that could happen in the world is if we, as the people of God, reclaim the kingdom of God, that is the world in which we live, and all focused in on just listening. Yes. 
right? Listen, 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 listen. We want to end this uh, episode by reminding all of us that, you know, listen to God's word. Mm -hmm. Just listen to that. And like you said, may it go inside of you. Because all that news, today it's old, it's gone. But the word of God is not gone. It will speak again. But listen. May God bless you guys as you listen to this. And uh, we'll catch you the next time.